Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Sorry we're not in the usual spot. I am next to my makeup storage. Um, we're getting ready for a declutter. Um, I have lately been feeling really really overwhelmed. I have a ton of makeup. Not bragging. It's, it's a it's a bad like I don't know investment you know you don't really have value in makeup um, after you purchased it so um, I do I did feel really overwhelmed and unorganized and uninspired and motivated for a little bit right now just because I do feel really overwhelmed with um, my collection and everything in it it's kind of just too much and I am so aware of it so this is my lip product drawer, um, we're here again because it doesn't look like it's gotten out of control, but it's gotten out of control. Um, you guys can't see the incoming lip products that I have right now. Um, this probably looks really, um, take those out, really similar to my last lip declutter. I haven't counted them yet. But I have a lot of products um, in my hand, that, the ones that I'm playing with. These were actually in my makeup bag. I think a lot of these were salvaged um, from my last declutter. I think I kind of uh, took some of these back and I wanted to try them. Um, and kind of straight to the, <laughs> straight to the point, I think I'm going to get rid of these. Um, I'm just not using them. Um, I really want to use the disc colored ones, but I just can't. Like, I don't know if it's the formula or the colors, something about it. I just, even when I wear them, I'm not crazy about them. So I'm going to go ahead and move those to the declutter pile. I just can't, for the life of me, like, use these consistently. Like, I'll try them and then I don't reach for it again. So, I just, I don't know, if there's something about them, I don't like them. If I'm just being honest with myself. And then I tried these um, Honest Beauty um, lip balms, tinted lip balms. Um, the brown one is just too light for me. This is the shade Lychee Fruit. Um, I thought it was going to be really pretty, but it just doesn't show up on my skin very well. And then the tone is just not very flattering. It kind of makes me look sick. Yeah, you really can't see it, but. And then it's a little dry for a lip balm. I prefer something a little more creamy uh, with thicker, um, I don't know, just like a more malleable formula. This is really pretty, but I don't know, like I said, they're, they're more drying and I really want balms with like a, a nice like moisturizing property to them. And I really don't get that with these. They're just not my favorite. So I'm just going to go ahead and pass on those. Um, going back to these, um, this one, I just don't gravitate towards it at all. I don't know if it's just the color that I'm just not. Yeah. I think the color just maybe just turns me kind of like pushes me away. It's just not, it's like a really pretty berry toned. This is the shade nude alert. I forgot to say the um, Honest Beauty Fruit Punch was like the peachier, like, um, corally shade. But this is a Sephora um, Nude Alert number 8 gloss. Just, I don't know, just a little too berry for me, not my preference. Just gonna blend that out a little bit. Just not my vibe. This is one that I've actually been loving. This is the one I'm keeping in my purse. Um, as you can tell, it's a very well loved. It's just a very nude, like everyday shade. This is the shade Bahama Mama. Juicy Jazz, uh, Juicy Jazz made me buy this. It was so pretty. It's just, just like a nice peachy orange, like a corally bright, like perfect nude for me, so. I didn't waste that. I put that on my last. My lips are feeling a little dry, but gross. But yeah, this is yeah the shade Bahama Mama. It's the Elf Plumping Gloss. I love this. It's going back into my bag, but I didn't need the other shades that I wasn't using. Um, 
I'm clearly gonna go through this. When I love something, I love something, so. Goes back there. I don't wanna put it in here because it does go back in my bag. Moving on to what's normally on my vanity. This little container goes on my vanity. These are like my go-tos. Um, I got some Becca lipsticks. I got one in the shade Dune. One in the shade Tawny. I know Becca went out of business, but I do have some go-to lip shades in those. And then I have my favorite gloss formula. This is the Buxom Full-On Plumping Lip Cream in the shade Pumpkin Spice Latte. This one was a limited edition, one of my favorites. This one was also a limited edition. This is in the shade Bahama Mama. <laughs> Actually, hold up. I wonder if the elf is like a dupe for Buxom's Bahama Mama. Let's try and see. That one. I'm gonna be so mad at myself if it is. This one's looking a little more pinky coral, so let's let's see yeah they're they're a little different okay that's i don't know if you guys can see that but the bahama mama for the buxom is a little more pinky like a pinky coral and then the uh, bahama mama and elf is a little more like brown orange so i love that okay so they're different okay good i'm like hold up wait a minute <laughs> i was like why do i it could be that i love both of them anyways so elf Buxom. Let's try it. The Pumpkin Spice Latte. Okay, so this is one of my favorites. Like, ugh. Like a little more mauve toned. Beautiful. I love this shade. Love them. This Buxom. Eh. <laughs> my favorite. Um, and then my other, one of my other favorite gloss formulas is the, um, I actually like the Fenty Gloss Bombs. But this is the Venti um, Gloss Balm Cream in the shade Peach Pout. This one's not my favorite, but it's such a pretty shade. Look at that. It's really similar to the Buxom one, but with a little more pigment. I don't know if you guys can pick up on that, but very pretty. And they're just a different formula for sure. Um, but yeah, I love them both. Um, this is the Too Faced Lip Injection. This one's not my favorite formula, but when I need like a more mauve cool toned, like this is like straight up purple, um, and it's really plumping, like super plumping. Um, so I love that for that. It is like a little painful. This was a limited edition as well in the shade, I'm sorry, Christmas Cocoa. It was like, I think last year's um, Christmas gift um, set. But yeah, it's very pretty, like, mauve purple shade. So those are the glosses that I'm keeping. And then I also have some lipsticks. This is the Believe Beauty um, Moroccan Spice. Just a beautiful, like, a nude shade for my skin tone. I love that one. Um, I have some liquid lipsticks from Huda Beauty. I feel I hate liquid lipsticks. But I actually do love Huda Beauty's formula. Um, the matte one, I'm not super crazy about, but the shade Day Slayer was my favorite. Um, I haven't seen the demi matte ones anymore, the ones in the glossy formula, or I'm sorry, the glossy packaging. But um, the demi matte were, were actually my favorite like formula. I felt like the regular liquid matte was a little more drying. The demi matte was perfect for me. I love that formula. Keeping those are all different shades. I have this shade Shiro and Venus in those. I'm not going to swatch those right now. Um, but I also have the Artist Couture lipstick. I love these as well. This is the shade July. It's a little pinkier than I like. But I do love Artist Couture's um, shades and formula. They're beautiful. I have some MAC shades. I have the shade Yash. I actually haven't, oh yeah, I have. I have tried that one. Couldn't remember, but I do love that one with a nice dark lip. And this is Velvet Teddy. Um, I can't remember how I feel about this one, but I think I want to try it and that's why I put it in here in my daily stuff to try it. It looks like, I have, oops, it looks like I have tried it, but I haven't really like remembered 
enough about it. I always just like daily use that gloss, the e.l.f. gloss that's in my makeup bag. That's kind of my like daily stuff. And then this is one of my all time favorite lipsticks, shade Formula Everything. This is the shade um, Brunch Date by the Sephora Lip Stories. Just a true classic for me. I love it. And then this is another one I want to keep trying. This is the shade Annie. I've never tried it. It's from uh, Makeup by Mario. It's like new to me. That's why I put it there, but I actually haven't tried it. And then last but not least, my like daily little section that's on my vanity um, are the shades from, these lipsticks from NARS in the shades um, Blonde Venus and Honolulu Honey. These are just like, look, <laughs> like well loved right there. Um, just beautiful. I mean, that one was Honolulu Honey, and then this is Blonde Venus, just different, different but similar, <laughs> like just gorgeous. So this is Honolulu Honey, and then Blonde Venus, and yeah, my faves. I, I love them both. Um, yeah, just awesome. Love those. So yeah, that's my daily. I'm not getting rid of it. any of those. Love those. All right, now we're getting to the good stuff. <clears throat> so now that we got the ones that were in my makeup bag out of the way and the ones that are in my vanity out of the way, we can get to the drawer itself. <clears throat> so, I think I'm gonna start with the liquid lipsticks because I think they're gonna be the easiest. I'm gonna <clears throat> begin with a lot of these. I just don't use them. Um, Keep that one. I'm gonna get rid of my ColourPop ones. I the formula is drying. I just wanted to keep these like for the nostalgia, for like the beautiful tones because they are the most beautiful. This one's already like separated. <laughs> it's like the I Love Sai ones. I really thought I could make myself use them if I like reduced like uh, my collection of lipsticks, um, but I'm not gonna use the formula that I really like don't enjoy wearing like the formula just because it's so so dry um I just don't gravitate towards these doesn't matter the colors are so beautiful because they are this was the uh, I Love Side I Am, the um, Becky G the Kathleen Lights and then another Becky G one so like I like I love and supported the the influencers that collab with these but um and the shades like i said were beautiful just the formula i just i just can't wear liquid lipsticks anymore so we're gonna get rid of those um and then i love this koki one this is a good like it's a liquid matte i have the shade stunner just such a beautiful like everyday like nude shade, little, it's a little mauve-y, a little cool toned, I love that. And then I'm thinking I'm gonna get rid of these Morphe ones. I don't want to, but if I'm being honest, I really don't use them, so. Actually, I think I'm gonna keep the hot shot. Like, I don't have a lot of unique shades, but this one, I don't know. I bought this one because the color seemed really special. So I'm gonna get rid of the shades Peanut, which is this really pretty like nude brown shade. And then the shade Taunt. These were so beautiful. I just, like I said, I have to be honest, I don't really use liquid lipsticks, but if I'm gonna use a liquid lipstick, it's probably gonna be a red, you know, because reds are just really difficult shades. They kind of smear, they get messy. Um, think this one. And this one I think was the last one I purchased, so it is fairly new in comparison. So let me read those. And then I also have this Nebla Noir. I know this is older, but you know, does it still smell okay? This shade was just everything to me. Just so beautiful. Like you all see that? 
it's so pretty. Let me compare it to the Koki one, just because I'm curious now, even though you literally just watched it two seconds ago. Okay, yeah, they're a little different. The Koki is a little more mauve. The Nebula one is definitely a little more warm, but they're very similar, but I love the formulas both, so I'm going to keep both. Um, what shade is this one? This is the BH Cosmetics and Alondra and Elsie in the shade Desert. I don't think I ever tried this one. Maybe I did and then... Ooh, she brown. Wow. This is really unique. I want to keep this just because of how unique it is. But I don't think I gave that one a fair shot either. I don't think I've like really been... Um using like lipsticks but that shade going into fall I really hope I would you know use that one mm. I hope I'm making too much noise but um this flower beauty like I said I don't have a lot of reds but if I'm gonna do a liquid lipstick or if I'm gonna do a red I want it to be a liquid lipstick so and this one seems really different to the other one this is in the shade scarlet letter just really pretty and the flower beauty Miracle Matte Lip. So, I'm going to keep that one as well. We're actually getting rid of them a lot, though. Um, I love these Maybelline Superstay inks. They're amazing. I'm, just, I, I'm sorry, I love those. Um, this next one, it's like a weird... Um, like I, I don't want to say it's a matte, but it's like a liquid matte formula. Um, but it's definitely more of a cream, I guess, but... I feel like it doesn't really belong in my glosses, but that one's a really pretty shade as well. These, I did I open these? I did open them. These are so pretty. These are collab um, liquid lipsticks in the shade Peachy Keen. Oh, that's pretty. Dang, that's so pretty. And then What's Up? These are so pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh dang, that is, that is so pretty. The mauve tone. You know what, I'm going to put Peachy Keen in my daily makeup bag for work and see if I like it. But I'm going to keep the, the mauve one too, just because this one is also really unique. It's purpley, but like, like dark. I think that would look really pretty on me, so. I want to keep both of those. Oh. <laughs> So this is the area I'm going to have a hard time with my high-end ones because I do really love a lot of these formulas. <sighs> I have a hard time. I think I'm going to get rid of my Stila ones. I have the shades Dolce and then Sienna. I used to love the shade Dolce, but the thing I don't like about this one is that it has glitter in it. Oh, look how beautiful that is like that is just just so beautiful oh my gosh so gorgeous and then um sienna is also really pretty definitely way more like berry toned and i really don't wear that color i used to try to wear these colors more but they're just not not me anymore so getting rid of that one um I'm having a hard time with this one. <laughs> I really do love that shade. It's so pretty. But it has yellow glitter in it. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm not I don't I don't wear it anymore. I think I think I should just get rid of it for how old it is. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Let's be real. Okay. Moving on. Alright. I love, this is my favorite shade of the Anastasia one. This is in the shade Ashton. I wore this every day for like years. That is just. And then um, it looks new because it is new. Um, I wore this all the time. I would keep it in my pocket. Um, and one day I forgot about it and I washed it with my jeans. So I ran out and bought another one immediately. So I love this one shade is everything okay now this one though this is my sigma cora de rosa i just ugh, this shade is just 
so pretty but it's definitely more like of a pinky berry so i think i can part with that one it's really not my shade i don't think it's flattering to my skin tone so i think i can part with that one no problem i think i wanted to like it because i love the cora de rosa blush and these are my Too Faced Unmelted Mattes. Love these. This is in the shade Cool Girl. And then Gingerbread Girl. So, I love these. I don't care. I'm keeping those. Um, moving on, I have these Huda Beauty Demi Mattes. Again, discontinued recently. Um, love the Demi Matte Formula by Huda Beauty. I have the shades um, Shio and Mogul. I'm going to keep those. Um, oh gosh, another formula I'm going to keep is the Dose of Colors. I know these are a little more drying as well, but they're just so unique to my collection. I have the shade Heartbreaker, Black Rose, which was a limited edition shade with packaging. And then I don't know this one because the um, sticker fell off, but it's a really pretty red, so keeping those as well. They're really unique and beautiful. Keeping my Lolita. This is a KVD. Back when it was still Kat Von D. <laughs> In the shade Lolita. This is another one that I wore every day for like years. Oh my gosh. Just. This is like as berry as I can get. I know it's like a berry like other berries, but Something about this one is just different in the undertones, and it's like about the only berry moth that I can pull off, so I want to keep that one as well. And then I have these Gerard Cosmetics. I have the shades 1995 and Everything Nice. I remember loving these. So I really don't think I want to get rid of those either. Oh, yeah, this is everything nice. So pretty. And 1995. That looks kind of similar to Lolita, but even a little bit more purple. So pretty. I actually have the bullet lipstick, I think, of 1995. Right here. This is a Jarred Cosmetics 1995 lipstick. Yeah, they're a little different. It actually looks more like 1995. I'm sorry, Everything Nice. This is Everything Nice 1995 in the liquid lipstick, 1995 in the bullet lipstick. So, dang. <laughs> they're like, this is like a perfect mixture of both of these, which is crazy. Mmm. Dang. I think I'm going to keep everything nice, which is this one right here, and then keep the bullet lipstick later on. But, like, I think I'm pretty sure I remember that I liked the 1995 lipstick more, and it's more well-loved. You can kind of tell. It's kind of used up a little bit. Um... I don't really remember like using the um, 1995 like a li liquid lipstick that much so I don't know though it, it's drying and then I'm liking it a little bit more I think I'm gonna keep them both I'm sorry I just can't I'm, I know I'm being annoying but I just can't part with them they're just I think different enough for me that I want to keep them Yeah, I think this one's unique enough of out of my lip collection that I'm going to keep it. Okay, I'm down to the last two of this area. Um, this is the NARS Velvet Lip in the shade Swing. I'm pretty sure I really like this shade, but I can't remember. Ooh, that's like a moussey. Oh, wow, that's so pretty. It feels really comfortable, too. It's a little more cool toned, but very comfy. It feels very comfy. It doesn't even like 
dry down like to a mat or anything like that so or at least not yet but i don't know it felt really comfortable and this is the beauty bakery in a snickerdoodle did i say that right beauty bakery <laughs> did i say liquid <gasps> oh wow is this a gloss wait a minute is this a gloss it looks like a gloss oh gosh wow that's pretty that's a gloss that's not a liquid lipstick interesting okay i really really love the shades i think i'm gonna put it in my daily makeup my bag for work hopefully i'll get some use out of it that way this is very pretty i like it okay moving on to this little section right here I have minis and um, balms and liquid lip, I don't want to say liquid lipsticks, uh, lip stickies from, I forget what they call these, lippy, lippy sticks, <laughs> I can't remember, I feel so goofy saying it, but um, lippy sticks from Colourpop over here, balms, like just hydrating, tinted, whatever, anything else that's not like a liquid lipstick. It's not a gloss. It's not a lipstick, you know. Just a like, little random category. And then I also have these e.l.f. Jen Adkin, um duos. It's like a lip pencil and a lip balm. Like a tinted lip balm. And I really love these, but I don't know. I really don't use them. Oh, gosh. That is so pretty. You know what? Never mind. I'm keeping these. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Do you see this? I'm keeping the nude one. I don't, I'm not going to keep the pink one. I just, it's, I'm not using that shade. I would never, but oh my goodness. That was the shade in the shade. Um, it doesn't have a shade on it. That's a shame, but very pretty. I'm not getting rid of that. That's amazing. I almost hesitated for a second. For a second, I was really gonna get rid of that. Um, but now, keeping that one. This is the Rose Ink. Oh my gosh, what do you call these? Lip color. I don't know. This one was insane. It's just way too pink for my preferences. Like, I would never wear that. It's just getting a little bit like a weird thingy, but it goes away. Like, it's just like it's drying out or something. But. I don't know, not for me. The color is just not a color I would wear. I guess I'm using my paper towel right here. <laughs> I mean, I need to do it on ca off camera and I keep forgetting. But let's try my um, color pop ones. I just don't use them. But let me just kind of go through and eliminate them to make sure I don't. Oh, that is beautiful. What am I doing? That is a very pretty brown. Another brown. Oh, God. Kill me. Ooh, but that looks like the other brown. Okay, I'm never mind. I'm keeping these. These are like super comfy and beautiful. Nope. Gotta keep those. What about this one? I keep telling myself I'm gonna get rid of these, but I don't. But I am getting rid of that one. This is the shade. Um, it doesn't say. It just says lip crayon. Oh, I'm sorry. It says gimme shmore. Um, but I'm getting rid of it. It's pretty. It's just not. Mm. I'm just not using them. And then I have this Benty gloss thingy latte lip luscious lip balm i just keep forgetting to use this but i want to use this um i also have this fenty metamose single like a plush lipstick in the shade single <gasps> that's pretty a little more pink but still i think i would still wear that i'm just that would go more into the lipstick area but 
Um, let's get these random things out. <sighs> these elf red or dye balms, I hate them. I just, they're just so hard to get out of the packaging. I'm just not very comfortable. These elf balms, I love these. Let's, this is the shade Golden Pear. It's one of my favorites. So beautiful, like so beautiful. This is the shade Wild Peach. This one I'm not as fond of, but it's, nope, stop making excuses, get rid of it. It is not my color. This one's beautiful, but let's be honest, I'm not going to use that pink one, it's just not my vibe. Like never ever. And then I have these new products I've never used. Um, this Jordana Pigment Shine looks really pretty, like the shade, but it's unsealed and I kind of don't want to open it just to swatch it. Same with this Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Lip in the shade Cinnamon Toast. Just so pretty looking. And then I have this Liquid Lingerie Plush Lipstick in the shade Push Up. Um, no thanks. Just not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Not gonna open them just for what? For what? I have these mini MAC lipsticks. This is half calf. Beautiful purple shade. Wow, that's pretty. Dang. I don't want to keep these, but. And then nutmegged. Ooh. They're so pretty. Oh no. And that's where I, this is my problem. Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. Oh my gosh, it looks pretty too. And it's so unique. Okay, we're keeping those minis. Nutmegged. It was nutmegged. And what was the other one? Half calf. Half calf was a purpley one. That one's so pretty. Gorgeous. Um, I have these NARS minis in the shade Fleur and Vault. These look gorgeous. Oh my god. These I get from like holiday sets and stuff. They're just, oh my gosh. Shut the front door. Wow, that's a really pretty like orangey like terracotta. So pretty. <sighs> Ooh, this is a very like cool tone like taupey. Like a taupey moth. Vault. Yeah, that's like a taupey brown tone mauve. I love that one. Yeah, Lore is this orangey one. Oh gosh, those are gorgeous. Gotta keep those. They're glosses. I think. I don't know. I said yes. Alright, let's get these. Oh my god. These Kat Von D minis. I have a Bone and Arrow. I think I loved these as well. Okay, girl, you ain't never gonna use that shade. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, no. And then Ophelia. I think this shade is really pretty. I can't get rid of that one. Um, yeah, I can. It's a little pale for me. It's the paleness for me. Yeah, we're not doing that one. And then I have this Smashbox. Shade in Stepping Out. This one's really pretty as well. It's definitely a little dried out. Oh yeah, that's dried out. I can throw that one away. But the shade is so pretty. Like, gorgeous. And then um, I have some more beauty ones. I think these are balms. This one's Huda, but it's just, it's the last one. This is a mini uh, matte lip in the shade Transform. Oh, that's red. That is red. That's so pretty. I guess it can stay. <laughs> I have this shade, um, and this is a, a dewy lip balm in the shade Support. I think this shade's really pretty as well. Like, look at that. 
a mauve brown shade. Very pretty. Yeah, that's pretty. I feel like I need to get these out more. And then I also have the shade Thankful. That I've never used, apparently. That's pretty. That is definitely pretty. I need to start using my makeup more. But those, these are pretty. I don't know about the red. The red has me nervous, but... Again, I only have one, two, three reds. This one's like a burnt, like, terracotta red. It's not like a true, true red. It's like a brown red. See that? It's not like a true red in my opinion, so. But in my opinion, I have this red, this red, and this red. And they're all a little bit different, so. I'll keep all three of them for now. And then I also have this shade um, in the Huda for the shade interview. This is so pretty. Like, it's a very cool tone mauve. So cool. So tiny though. It's a lot of packaging for how much product you get, but nonetheless, I'm keeping that one. Now this area is going to be a little harder for me this next section um, I feel like we made some reduction over here um, not so much in the high-end ones but um, and maybe not so much in the minis but um, the glosses I'm gonna have a little hard time with right now because I actually do love a good gloss but and I'm seeing a lot of my favorite formulas so <sighs> This is, yeah, this is gonna be hard for me. Um, dang, I don't even know where to start. I like love all of these. I'm like trying to start here and there's just no, oh. This is the Patrick Star and MAC um, lip gloss in the shade um, Mama Star. I'm just, ugh, this is like my favorite shade of all time, guys. It's just so beautiful, so beautiful. But it's, oops, can't even close it. But yeah, it's kind of separating and stuff. It's really old. It's I'm not I'm not critiquing the product itself. I'm critiquing how long I've kept this just because I love the shade. Um, but I mean I haven't used it in over a year just because I know how old it is. It's like really really old. So I just can't keep it, you know, because I love the shade but never use it, you know, because gross. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that one and then. Um, this is a hard part. Um, I love all of these. This Buxom one, I wonder, it's separating a little bit. No, but it smells fine, so I think it's fine. Like, Buxom is, like, my elite favorite gloss, so. Dang. I also love these from Urban Decay. Like this is the shade um, Fuel and Rapture. These are just so pretty. But I don't use them. But they're so pretty. Let's keep them there for now. <laughs> Let's start here because I can get rid of you guys. Um, this is the Tinkerbell in ColourPop gloss um this is the luxe gloss in the shade bambi so cute little um luxe gloss or luxe lip oil Ooh, i do i do use lip oils a lot more now and then the luxe lip oil and hot spark oh my gosh let me try this one i don't know i just don't I remember. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. They're too thin. These are too thin for my preference. Of a lip oil. Just not my thing. Mm. And then I don't like the um, color pop. Color pop glosses. They're just a little thick for me. I wanted to keep them. I wanted to keep them because. Um, I love Bambi and I thought they were cute collector items, but <laughs> my dog in the background. Um, I just realistically don't wear them anymore. 
And then I also wanted to keep this one, but it looks a little bit like not it anymore. I don't know. I really don't. There's another one I use. This brown is very pretty and I liked putting it on like certain like pinkier shades to kind of like fix it, I guess. But usually when I don't like the pinkiness of the shade, I don't use it. So I don't usually like fix it, you know, so. But it was a really pretty gloss. I love how even that is. It's so pretty, but I just really don't use a ton of brown glosses. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one. I feel like yeah, these are definitely easier to get rid of. I have a ton of these new NYX glosses. I have the shade Madeline and a bit of honey. I don't know if they're brand new though. Let me keep those as well. <laughs> having the hardest time and this is the BH um, stick with you this is another I think it was a set the BFF Alondra and Elsie I think you got like the little lipstick and the, and the gloss and this one I believe is really pretty as well you got like a taupey gloss the formula was really nice it's very pretty I want to keep that one as well okay I'm looking at these and I want to avoid them because I don't want to, oof, I don't want to get rid of them, but I'm not doing a good job with my glosses right now, so I do need to get rid of some. But let me go ahead and make sure I want to get rid of all of them if I do want to get rid of all of them. So this one's still known as packaging. It's the shade Soft Touch. And this is the shade Kinky Nude. Watch it be like so gorgeous. I'm pretty sure it is. Oof. Yeah, that's pretty. That's really pretty. Dang, that's pretty. Let me just sit on that one for a second. <laughs> and these are the Milani ones. I don't want to open the, the one that's sealed. This is a little separated. They still smell okay. This is the She's All That. I heard this is a dupe for the Fenty Glock, but I didn't like it as much as the other ones. I mean, like, I didn't like it as much as the Fenty ones. That's the She's All That. You can see a little bit of the brown tint. And then I also have the shade Whatever. Yeah, I don't really, mm. I don't know. I heard, yeah, these were supposed to be dupes for the Fenty glosses, but let me just, uh, let me just show ya. I don't know which one's supposed to be a dupe of which one, but these are both like opened, so. I think that one's supposed to be like that one, except it's not. And then, I think it's supposed to be a dupe of this one. This is um, Fenty Glow. The other one was Fussy. Like, I don't know if you can tell. There's just something. I mean, I guess these two are a little similar, but I don't know. The Fussy one is definitely, I don't know. They're just not. Yeah, no, they're just different formulas. I'm going to get rid of Kinky Nude. I'm going to get rid of the Ardell lipsticks or glosses, I guess. I'm going to get rid of these. They're just not, I don't know. I'm like, I know I'm having a hard time, but we're just not using them. It should be pretty easy. This Milani ones. I'm gonna get rid of them. I just don't use them. They're just, let's be real. The real deal. And then right now I just came to a realization that I don't like the shade Fussy. It was just a little too, like pink and pale. Like, I don't know, it's just not my preference and to sit in this drawer. So I'm gonna get rid of the shade Fussy.
don't get too heartfelt because I love all of these. I have Fussy down here too. I have a mini. I'm gonna get rid of that one as well. It's just the shade one. I'm not looking right now, so get rid of those. Love, love, love. Okay. Okay, moving on. Now we have the Ooh, these are these will be easy. These are the ColourPop glosses. This is in the shade Cosmel. Cosumel? I don't know. It's part of their um they had a collection, I don't know, with coral something. <gasps> that is pretty. That is but it has no pigment to it. <sighs> I don't know. And then this is the shade Lesson Learned. This looks so pretty. <gasps> what? That looks so pretty. I'm keeping that one. Wow. I'm gonna keep Lesson Learned, the one that was a little more pigmented. But I'm gonna get rid of the shade Cosmel. I don't know. I don't know what that is. We're going to get rid of it. I like pigmented glosses. I don't like to layer, so that's okay. That's, well, let's be real. I have a ton of the Maybelline lifter glosses. Let's try to reduce it to three, maybe. <laughs> I don't know if I can do that. We'll see. I'm gonna go in order from the numbers. Let's see. Okay, so. Oof. This is not easy. Okay. I have the shade Three Moon. That reminds me of Fussy. It smells delicious, but oh, just floats. Put a lot of air in here. Reminds me of Fussy. I'm getting rid of the shade Moon. I have the shade Silk. Ooh, that is purpley. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get rid of the shade Silk as well. For a limited edition. <laughs> I have the shade Amber. <sighs> that is pretty. Love that one. Okay. And of the shade Stone. Oh, sorry. Amber fell. <gasps> that is so pretty. Yes. Okay, it definitely has less pigment than the other ones, but still very beautiful. I just like a little bit of color at least. I'm not crazy about things that are too sheer. And then this is the shade Topaz. Oh, that's... Reminds me of Fenty. Hmm. I think I'm gonna keep these two right here and then I'm gonna get rid of Topaz as well. It reminds me too much of the Fenty one but it, it's definitely like thinner. I don't know if you can tell on camera. It, it's even thinner in like the formula just because of the glitter. Um, these seem creamier and I like that about them. Sorry, my dogs are annoying. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna keep these two shades. These are really, really nice. I like a little pigment. They're usually my preferences, my my one and dones. And then I have these from Essence. This is the shade Peaches and Cream. Definitely like bright. Ooh, I don't know. That one might be like too bright for me. I don't know. And then a clear gloss. I want to keep the clear gloss. I never, I hardly ever use them, but mm. I don't know. I think I'm 
gonna go ahead and just part ways with it. I don't, I really don't use like bright corally shades like that. I thought it was gonna be more sheer. There's like certain colors I prefer to be more sheer. I also have this Persona Honey Gloss. I remember really liking this one though. Yeah, that one's really pretty. Yeah, I'm keeping that one. I have a ton of these Bare Mineral ones as well. And these three. Oops. So I've been crooked the whole time. Kill me. Okay. Um, I also have this one, and I think these are really similar. Oh my gosh, these are so similar. <laughs> One's Lorac, though. This is a shade Ginger Blonde by Lorac. Oh yeah, look at that's a cool tone nude. Very pretty. And then I have the shade Squad by Bare Minerals, Gen Nude. Ugh, I think I wore this one every day for like a year. I think Squad's a little pink though. I'm not sure about that one. Or maybe it was Bay. I can't remember. I think it was Bay, maybe. Yeah, Bay is definitely more the color I was talking about. If it wasn't this last one, so. IRL, I can't remember what that one is in real life. <sighs> yeah, these are really similar though. You can't, I'm not sure if you can tell on camera, but this one's a little more mauve toned than that one. I think I'm gonna get rid of the first one, or the first um, squad shade by Bare Minerals. I think it's a little more pink than I would use. Just being honest with myself now, um, I think it was one of my favorites at one time, but I think I really don't. It's a little more pink for my preference, so I think I'm gonna get rid of that one. And then keep the Lorac ones in these. I know they look super similar, but they're, I swear they're a little different. And then I wanna swatch these. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of Squad. Get that one out of my hand before I forget. Um, I have ugh, Rapture. I don't know, it's so pretty though. It's so, oh, it's yeah, definitely a little more purpley. Yeah, that's a little purpley. And then Fuel. So pretty. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep Fuel and get rid of Rapture. I know I don't have anything like Rapture, but I think for good reason, because I don't wear a lot of purples as lip glosses, so let's, let's be real. Okay. All right, let's finally do my Alomar wounds. I love Alomar. I love their formula, but just don't love. I bought these and then I bought this one, and then the website showed like this packaging, and then I got this packaging, which was their old packaging, which I was kind of annoyed with. Super annoyed with. And then like a month later, they got like really pretty beige packaging now, so. Like, ugh, so annoying. I hate when brands do that because they're not consistent. I like them to match. And then now, if I were to get them, they wouldn't match. They would be the beige ones, so. Get rid of this one. It's just too pinky for similar for similar reasons. Just being brutally honest. And now the Alamar ones. I feel like this one is too light for me. This is the shade um, Dulce. So pretty though. Is it too light for me? I think I used to just mix it on top of like darker shades. No, I love Dulce. That one's really pretty. And then Coqueta. I think Coqueta was one of my favorite glosses of all times for a while. 
It's just, yeah, look at that one. Gorgeous. And then Devina, maybe this one. It was like, I don't really use a lot of browns. I don't, and that one's never been used, but am I thinking? <gasps> no, it's such a pretty brown shade though. Like, like, ugh, so creamy though. I'm gonna buy it. I don't know, I have to keep that one. And then this one is um, Miami Spice. So pretty. Yeah, that's definitely brighter, but like, I don't know, like corally, peachy, salmon, a little more pink. Like, this is more of the tones that I like than the pink blue shade, kind of. Like, I don't know. I love those. And I also love my um, buxom ones, and that's why I'm not even touching those. Like, I love those and that. Yeah, there's no... There's no thinking about that one. I'm keeping those for sure. I feel like I'm not making enough room. <laughs> like, uh, look at this. There is a lot you guys cannot see, but I have other glosses in here that I have to add. I'm not doing a good job. Not doing a good job. What about these spiked apple cider? Oof. No. Nope. Goes back. Shh. Leave those alone. Okay. This is the shade Toffee. I think that's one. I remember that one being really pretty too. <gasps> yes. But you know what? Of browns, I think I would definitely wear that one more. So. I'll get them. I'll get them. So, of my Divina, I'm going to get rid of this brown one. I don't want to, but being real, I would use this Persona brown one. Because it's a little more sheer. This one's super pigmented brown. I just, I feel like I would use this one more to kind of brown, like, a shade up over the other one. So, let's just, just, <laughs> please, I don't want to, but I have to. This is the shade Baby Brute. I don't think I ever used this one, so I don't want to like open it to use it. Um, just being real with myself, I don't use this pink Pretty Please one either. And then um, I do want to keep Cheeky though. That's unique enough. And then I also have this bronzy shade in Cake Shake. I want to keep that one as well. And this is a mini Fenty Glow, which is my favorite shade ever, so I can get rid of those. And then I have this gloss, still new, but I want to try this eventually. I just keep forgetting about it. And then I also have the, um, I have to get rid of those. I have the shades Sepia and Amber. These are so pretty though. It's just really hard to get rid of them. You see that it's just so pretty and then that one is also oof so pretty but let's be real i'm never gonna use this shade but i might <laughs> i'm kidding <laughs> get rid of that i just i won't i really won't so i moved over to the other side really quick um to, I wanted to get out of the way. Oops. Um, these have a ton of sentimental value for me. I can't get rid of these. Um, the Gigi Hadid one is one my brother gifted me for Christmas a few years ago. And then the Gwen Stefani one is um, my first like high-end purchase when I was younger. So I just something about the packaging just it holds sentimental value for me I know it's dumb but you know picturing my brother going to go buy makeup for me <laughs> and then you know my first high-end purchase I don't know they just hold a special place in my heart but I want those out of the way and that's why I had put them over there um I have these four lip stories um uh, in the shade tan lines that it actually slipped out of my hand and went that way, which I don't want to go get it right now. 
that I'm getting rid of, and also the shade Virgo. It's just a little too, like, cool tone for me. It doesn't look good on me, so I'm going to get rid of that one as well. I have my KKW lipsticks. I just feel like I have so many of them for, like, not really wearing them that often, which is, I think, I find weird. I have the shade He's a Mixer. This was the Mario collab. Just a very pretty, like, topper nude. I want that one so bad. I need to use that one. I think it's just light and it kind of scares me. I have the shade Nude 3. And that's what Nude 3 looks like. I like that one, but I'm not crazy about it. Let's see, um, Nude 2.5. Probably should have done those in order. I don't know, 2.5 seems a little yellowy to me. I don't know if you guys kind of agree with that one, but it looks like the one I use the most though. And then I also use, oh, I'm sorry, the last one, 3.5, which is, I think, my favorite. But yeah, 3.5 is my favorite. Hmm. Hmm. I'm having a hard time getting rid of any of these. Dang. I think I'm going to get rid of the middle two. I already forgot which ones they were. So 3.5 is my most favorite. And then he's a mixer. So it has to be these two. I think I'm going to get rid of these two. This orangey one. And then this pinky one. So. I'm going to get rid of those. Reduce those in half, thankfully. I have this one, Bar the Rock, um, in the shade Ginger Blonde, as well as that one lip gloss, I think. Yeah. The Rachel Zoe collab. It's just so pretty. It's like a really pretty, like, brown mauve. So pretty. Love it. Use that one. And then all my Dominique Cosmetic ones. I love these, but I just, I'm sorry, I can't get rid of these. I love these. I love all four of them. Um, I have more like lipsticks. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Love all these. Gotta keep those. I love dog hair in here. Okay, it's time to get rid of these. I love them but they're super old and i just don't wear them anymore i, just, I think it's probably because they're super old so these were the two Faced like nude or naked something i don't remember but they were very very beautiful i loved them for a long time but they're old this is morocco this is a norris lipstick it's really like orangey like very orange and i'm like do I want to like keep it? But I don't wear orange, so. But I mean, I could I make it work with the like a brown or more pinky nude lip gloss. I'm sure I could, but I don't want to. So we're not we're not gonna do that. But I have these Propa Beauty Finesse and Victress. Very pretty. Oh my gosh. They look. Wow. Interesting. Okay. I expect them to be like more pigmented, but that is the shade Finesse and then the shade Victress. Let me see. Wow. Okay. Okay. That is Victress. Like more deeper brown. That's so pretty. Those are really like sheer though. But very pretty. I just wanted to like let you guys know they're sheer though. But um very, very pretty. Um this is the Christian Audette lipstick in the shade Beauty. This was um oh my gosh. I feel evil. Okay, yeah. This was the uh, Christian Audette and Mel Thompson collab. 
it's a little light for me but I really really love it as like a brightening lipstick when I really need um, to like bring it back to life or something or add a little dimension um, and I was just really glad to support Mel Thompson a few years ago um, before you know rest in peace that you know she passed away um, and then this was a Gerard Cosmetics lipstick in 1995. I discussed earlier that I'd be keeping because I was getting rid of um, a different shade that was really similar to that one. So um, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick in the shade. Hmm. It's not the shade Velvet, is it? No. My crazy. I don't know. It doesn't, I don't see, I think it's Velvet Matte Lipstick. I thought, like, I hate when they use names of something. I don't know. I really don't use it, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one. I'm just, the shade's very pretty. I could see myself using it, but I don't, so. These are, okay. This is Butter London. In the shade Nostalgic. It's like a very pretty deep brown. I love that one. I hate that it's not showing up true like in camera though, but it's very pretty. And then this is a Smashbox shade in Famous. And I always tell myself I'm gonna use this shade and I never do, so let me get rid of that Smashbox one. Earlier, I was just like tossing them very quietly, and now I'm just like throwing them across the room. Ouch. Oops, I had to like stretch out my legs and I kicked. Oh my gosh, I keep kicking everything. Um, I had there we go. another Anastasia lipstick in the old packaging in the shade Peachy. Okay, well that one, that one's pretty. I, I like that one. <laughs> Let me fix your camera, Denise. Jesus, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, that one again. That one's really pretty. I'm like, do I need it though? But it's so pretty. Nope, get rid of it. It's like, I'm, I don't know. I wouldn't say I never used it, but I can't remember using it. And then Artist Couture Lipsticks, love these. This is Power Play and Saucy Girl, no, yeah, Saucy Gal, so love these. And then these are, oops, Buxom and Kylie Lipstick, let me see, Buxom, 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 and my one Kylie Lipstick. I'll have some more packaging because this is Dulce de Leche. I keep telling myself I'm going to use this one and I never do. It is it's so pretty. It's so pretty. <laughs> but I never use it. I need to use that one. It's so pretty. Honestly, like, it reminded me of the, the peachy shade from Anastasia, though, for real. Then I have Fly Girl. So pretty. This is a new one. Did I not use that one already? Nope. It's brand new. Fly girl. I didn't use that one. <gasps> I just... <laughs> I didn't want to ruin it, so I closed it, and then I, like, dug the lid into it. Look at that. It's pretty. It's a giant chunk of it right now. Um, I also have Goddess. It's a little pinky shade right here. I'm gonna get rid of that one, though. Come on, girl. You don't fucking use that. Sorry. Sorry about my language. Icon. And this is the shade Icon. I don't know. It's a little bright for me. Probably get rid of it. And then the shade Supermodel. Ooh, this looks pretty. I can see myself using that one. It looks more mauve in person. It's looking a little pinky on camera though. That's legit. 
And then keep it on my MAC lipsticks. Love these, but I have the shade Creamy Your Coffee, Whirl, and Pore Strip. Other ones go to And then lastly, I have this oh, Mama Star lipstick. This one's also old, but I don't know why I feel more comfortable with liquid, or I'm sorry, with True Bullet lipsticks versus like um, liquid lipsticks or glosses because you like dip it back into the container and then seal it with all your germs and stuff. I don't know. This seems a little more aired out. And I'm not too worried about it. I mean, should I get rid of it? Yeah. Will I? Never. Never. Okay, right, now onto my drugstore ones. Oh my god. These are the Sophie X um, Revolution lipsticks in the shade Syrup Fudge. Let me just show you how freaking gorgeous these are. Like, freaking beautiful. Like, are you kidding me? Like, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Just. Mmm. Mmm. -mm -mm. And every time, every single time, I have a hard time with these. Honestly, you know what? They remind me of the dupes of the um, the Too Faced lipsticks I just got rid of. So I'm actually going to keep those. And then I have all these Essence ones. Let's be real, girl. Let's be real. I don't use these. <laughs> okay, I have the shade 9 Special. I haven't even tried it, girl. Are you serious? Oh my god. I haven't even tried the shade 9 Special. It was new. I just watched it. I don't even care anymore. Three. Three looks really pretty. Okay. Okay. And then the oil. I haven't swatched the oil either. Oh my gosh. Kill me. Oh my goodness. I think I might like this. See, look. This is... <laughs> Special. Three, this is nude, and twelve loyal. Honestly. Let me get rid of all of them. I just none of those tones really kind of spoke to me. Like I liked a couple of them, but like none of them are like I have to keep, you know. These, I would never get rid of. These are my, like, high shine Revlon lip balms. These are everything. Everything. Y'all need these in your life. I need them in my life, actually. I need to pick out a shade and put it in my bag. Um, nude Illuminator. I think this is the one going in my bag. Is it? Is it? Is it you? Is it you I'm looking for? That one? Or, I don't know, Dewy Peach is one of my favorite. Dewy Peach. And this one's more of like a summer shade. I mean, are you for real? For real, for real? Um, okay, the top, Denise. The top. I don't know, I don't know which one. I love them all. This is Glaring Coral. Like uh, the coral one, maybe. I don't know, guys. They're just this one's more of like a spring shade. What am I thinking? Definitely nude illumination or nude illuminator. That one's going into my makeup bag. <laughs> I'm so annoying, but I also have like a raisin one or something like that. I'm getting rid of these elf ones, they're cute. This is the shade a cider, but I'm getting rid of them because they're so pretty. But I mean, they're just and nectar. I loved nectar for so long. <laughs> so pretty. Like, are you seeing these? So gorgeous. Just not. I don't use them. Let's be real. Just. I'm just gonna tell myself they're so beautiful. I'm gonna use them eventually, someday, someday. Nope. Then I have these from Milani. I have Banana Beige and then Matte Beauty 69. 
gorgeous. Kill me. What am I doing? Oh, I can't get rid of that. Mm, I hate when this happens. Just gorgeous perfection, and I can't get rid of those. Man. This is um, LA Girl Nude. Let me just let me just show you this. How beautiful this is. Like go chest. It's definitely a little more pink though, but it's still wearable on my skin tone, so I'm keeping that on as well. And I have all these gold matte by Moani. Let's see if I can get rid of any of those. Doubtful, but we'll see. Let me see these morphe ones as well. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I have such a hard time. And then this color pop in the shade Hades. Ooh, that looks pretty. Nope, I'm keeping that one. That was so pretty. Okay. Um, let's watch the morphe ones actually, just because I have an odd number now. The talk goes first. Ooh, that's pretty. Kissy face. Let me see. I know I'm not in view yet, but it's a little more pink than I like. And then the last pot. Oh, that's like my shade. Ooh, that one's a little more melty. So this was the Haiti shade from the ColourPop one. And then the talk, and then kissy face. Hey, the talk, and then kiss. No, kissy face. Yeah. No, the talk, kissy face, and caught. My bad. This is a cream nude. That's why it's something different. Yeah, I'm not feeling any of these. I'm kind of feeling the brown, but I think I kept enough browns for real. Like I don't need any more. Oops, that one popped open. For someone who doesn't wear brown, I'm keeping a lot of brown, so that's all I have to say about that. So, let's be real. Let's, let's be real. Okay. Lastly, I have I Am Worthy. Or the Milani ones. I Am Worthy. This is number seven. This is a matte formula that they have. <gasps> I, I think every time I, I go to declutter these, I, I do the same thing. I shock myself. This is the shade 27 Spoop. Hopefully I do a better job. Oh my gosh. Am I crazy? Like, oh, I'm not getting rid of any of these. Okay. I am pretty. Number five. Oh, dear lord. Kill me. And then I am radiant. I feel like one more of like a burnt red. Orangey, ooh. <laughs> Dang. I am worthy. Swoop. I am radiant. I oh, forget the middle one. Oops. <laughs> Let me just put them in order and then I can. Okay. So, top one, I am worthy. Swoop. The second one. I am pretty is the pale new one or nude one and then I am radiant is like this terracotta orange shade which is <laughs> gonna pick it up kind of red on camera but it's like a beautiful terracotta shade I think I'm gonna get rid of this one though I am pretty it's just not my shade for me like it's just not so I'm gonna get rid of that one I'm gonna keep the others because they're just so beautiful I'm gonna keep the one in not very unique but very pretty so okay guys um so while I was counting I found a few more lip products um <clears throat> this is the NYX butter gloss in the shade sugar high um I went ahead and took out the two that I had up here that were sealed um, and this shade seems like a kind of like a middle of both. One of them was like more of a brown tone. One of them was more like a pink tone. And this one seems like a little bit of like best of both worlds. So I'm going to keep that one. And this one's already opened. And I know I just opened this one recently. Again, this is the shade 
Sugar High in the NYX Butter Gloss. And then um, I'm also keeping this Milani Fruit Fetish Oil. This one kind of just is kind of like a pocket lippy. I kind of just take this everywhere with me, like in my car, in my bag, on my vanity, to work. Kind of makes its rounds. Um, this one I just got. It's brand new. Um, it's the Milani uh, Fruit Fetish in the shade or flavor, scent, whatever. Uh, passion Fruit coconut that's the lip oil um i find these a little overrated but i mean they are pretty like nourishing um they did have like a 30 percent off sale so for 12 dollars, i thought they were kind of overpriced but for eight it was kind of like okay fine whatever <laughs> you know i'll pay eight dollars for this i won't pay 12 so um, i'm kind of like scared to put it in there <laughs> i don't want to lose it um or misplace it I guess and get it buried and then these are the ColourPop glowing lips um I really just didn't enjoy these so I'm gonna go ahead and pass these up I thought the colors were really pretty but I feel like they weren't pigment pigmented enough on the lip or like just look pretty on the lip they're supposed to be like a balm um and I don't know, like, I prefer the e.l.f. ones to the ColourPop ones. And I don't know, they just show up nicer. Um, they look more glossy, more like a, um, a lip balm, kind of longer lasting. I felt like these immediately wore away and didn't have any pigment to them. So, but yeah, it just, just not for me. 